Prince George's County Police have released photos of three very young suspects who they say forced their way right into a school bus Monday to try and kill a middle schooler. That gun jammed, though, police said, and then the boys ran. So tonight there's a lookout for those boys and a whole lot of fear. Scott Broom is in Oxon Hill where this happened on Monday to tell us more. Scott. Well, a measure of the anxiety tonight behind us here. We have Prince George's County Police at this intersection here to protect kids as they get off school buses late this afternoon. The incident we're talking about happened Monday as a school bus pulled up here at Sutler Drive and Iverson Street, and that's when these three kids pushed their way on board with a pistol in hand. Tonight, Prince George's County Police here to protect kids as they get off the bus as pictures of three juveniles were released by authorities. The boys boarding that school bus Monday and pushing past the bus driver and an aide on board. One juvenile carrying a semi-automatic pistol. According to police, the gunman put the gun to the chest of a middle schooler and repeatedly tried to shoot, but the gun was jammed. So the gunman used it to beat the victim who survived with cuts and bruises. Police say the attackers then ran. This grandmother of middle schoolers said she lives in the neighborhood. I'm just not understanding how these kids get guns and stuff. Do you fear for these children? I fear for the kids and us as well. Because what if a dad would have stepped in and tried to stop and the gun didn't jam? Both the bus driver and the aide on board during the incident are so terrorized they've taken leave, according to fellow driver Martin Diggs, who's president of the union local representing drivers. But they're afraid to come out of the house because the suspects that got on the bus, their faces were covered. So they don't know who these people are. This, this particular issue that happened on the school bus is one incident of many incidents. Dig said school employees are constantly threatened with injury because of an epidemic of fighting on buses and in schools. Dig said the student who was targeted attended the non-traditional middle school program at Edgar Allan Post School in Suitland. Diggs noted the school system has cameras in the majority of its bus fleet. It's too late. Well, you can see how that was a traumatic situation for everybody from the, the adults on the bus to the school to the middle schoolers. Just awful. By the way, Prince George's County uh, schools issued a statement saying that administrators are horrified by the incident, but they are grateful that no lives were lost. They say they will not talk any further because an investigation is underway.